that's yeah. remarkable, this connection between Yosef and, and, and Hanukkah that I don't think a lot of people have realized before. But, you know, you talk, you went on at length about the value, the real value of, of you know, uh, basking in that flame of, of the Hanukkah light. And uh, I, I, it recalls what the prophet Yovadia said about about the the end times, and that is that the house of Joseph would be aflame. And I I I can't help but make that connection. You're right, that's so beautiful. That's just, that's actually yeah. a Hanukkah reference. That's mm-hmm. a Hanukkah reference. That because Yosef is the flame during these weeks, and Parshat yeah. Miketz is is so kind of like um, shrouded in mystery, in a way. Because mm-hmm. it's it yeah. chronicles Yosef's rise to power, and it's so things are happening so fast, and it's all about the brothers coming down, and Yosef's behavior towards his brothers is the predominant uh, uh, concept, you know, that we're that we're dealing with in this parsha, and it it ends with such a cliffhanger because Yosef has a plan, and again, this is not. This is not uh, the Godfather. <laughs> this is, we're not we're not reading about revenge, and we're not reading about getting even. We're reading about a man, Yosef. He's a man, a tzaddik, who understands that Hashem is with him, and understands that. that and I, I mentioned the last again in last week's Torah video. Yosef, Chazal say Yosef had ruach hakodesh, divine inspiration, Hashem's hand on him from the time he was born until the time he died. He everything about him was totally steeped in. A personal relationship, personal faith in Hashem, and Yosef understood that it was incumbent upon him that it, it 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 he had a task that was given to him by God to teach his brothers about unity. It's the it's yeah, the it's the exactly. culmination of and the fixing of the theme that's been that's been bothering us and recurring throughout the entire book of Breshit, and that is brotherly enmity. Yeah. Yosef fixes it. Once and for all, in 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 his story, and again the yeah. the whole book of Genesis is we're dealing with these, you know, absolutely supernal themes of the, of the foundations of everything for all time, mm-hmm. and and whenever we have these parshas that are that are uh, inf- that are emphasizing individuals and relationships and and everything that they did and all the things that they went through, it's because patterns are being established now that will be resonating and leading us to the ultimate redemption. Yeah, even the name of the Parsha, Miketz, it, it, it alludes to the end of things. To the and it, So the, it's an allusion. The whole events of this Parsha are uh, a, a key to understanding the, the redemption, the, the redemption to come in, in days, and may it come speedily. And I see, and obviously, Yosef is a kind of Mashiach. He saves the... Mashiach ben Yosef. Mashiach ben Yosef, and it, it even it even shows us that possibly when this figure arrives, that that his own Jewish brethren won't even recognize him at first, exactly. because he'll seem so uh, maybe Western in his ideas and his dress, and they'll think, well, who who is this guy? And they won't even recognize him when he arrives, even though he's standing right there in front of him. Yeah, exactly. That is so unbelievable. So true. Yeah. So it's good to see you. And uh, it's good, good to be to see, seen. Good to see everyone. And uh, bless everyone with a beautiful, beautiful light filled Hanukkah. Keep looking into that light and drawing strength and inspiration. Have some quiet time and ask what the flames are telling you. Get your mission from Hashem to delve further into the light. And. Um, just a wonderful opportunity to come clean and feel Hashem's presence in everything. Again, it's a time of potential miracles, miracles for all of us. And that is a special time of prayer while the lights are burning. And that all the gates are wide open. This is it. Don't waste the chance. And have a wonderful, wonderful festival of light. Shalom, Amen. shalom. Chag Sameach.